Hey everybody, what's going on? Dace here, and today we're going to be taking a look at my first All Clear in Gigawing, which is uh, from today, or, well, I'll, I'll be releasing this on uh, Wednesday. But, uh, yeah, anyway, so, because I'm aiming to do uh, a guide video, like a walkthrough of the stages, I'm not going to touch on any, like, strategy stuff or those types of ins and outs I'm just going to be sharing the experience and what I like about the game and all that kind of stuff um so interestingly enough <clears throat> excuse me when I was zeroing in on a character I enjoyed I had no idea that this guy was the weakest out of all of the the options that you have uh, I found that out later thanks to a, a, a buddy of mine on YouTube mentioning that but there was just something I absolutely loved about this purple ship the way it shoots and just the way you need to approach certain boss fights and things like that um, that I just decided you know what I just want to stick with it and have my first clear with uh, this character so that's kind of what we did here uh, interestingly enough <coughs> excuse me um, I have a bit of a tickle in my throat right now um, this is one of the few games that I love so much. It, it is such a blast. I can see myself continuing to play this with, while going through the game with the other characters. That is a really, really rare thing for me. Um, I'm not sure if it's even the first time. It might be. Um, I know, for instance, as much as I love Crim uh, Crimson Clover, like... I don't have any interest in really playing through the game with uh, the other ships, or at least not right now. Um, so it was interesting to to uh, observe that about this game. There's just something super engaging about it. It is just an absolute blast. I have so much fun with this game. Another interesting thing, which is a first for me, um, I think anyway, is that I was having so much fun with this game that I thought to myself the other day like even if I just decided to not clear this game like obviously the whole point of me playing it is partly because I want to clear it and that's like part of the the main goal here but uh I was just having so much fun with it that I felt as though hey if I just decided not to or I just didn't for whatever reason I would be completely content because I have had nothing but a wicked time just playing this just enjoying it and when that came to mind it really st struck me because I I usually don't feel that way about games to be honest usually it's like it's like it, there's I think there's just some kind of element of okay this has to be completed um like that's why I'm playing it or that's why I chose it blah 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 uh, but this has been a very very different experience with Giga Wing and it's just been very refreshing and very interesting I'm gonna just swig some water so right off the bat the first stage is just easy stuff <clears throat> now depending on what character you select this is something else that uh I was informed of um, the stage order will change up to a certain point anyway um, so because I'm using this character stage two is the lava stage and <coughs> excuse me um, you can have some issues with certain bosses because you're not killing things as fast um, this levels boss like at the end when we get there um can pose some really intense issues it it took me a a fair bit of experimenting on one of my first nights playing the game to figure out something that was working consistently for going through this without needing to bomb or anything like that uh, because bombs are very very precious in this game and just as a uh, like a main goal I usually have is just don't bomb until like later in the, in the run uh, unless something really crazy happens. But I was just determined to nail this stage without needing to rely on something because that's just a little too er early for my liking. 
if I was starting to use bombs and stuff like that. So I took the time to just figure something out that worked and it as intense as this boss is, <clears throat> it's just, I really came to enjoy the risk factor of how I approach the boss and <coughs> excuse me. Um, <clears throat> My throat's been acting up uh, the last number of days, just a little bit, so bear with me. Um, and I'll be sipping some water to attempt to uh, reduce my coughing. But yeah, it's. I did a, a tweet about this, uh, I think last week, where I, I mentioned how, for the most part, the stages feel simple to me. Um, not necessarily easy like it's gonna like take some getting used to when you first jump into the game but before long uh, if you're putting the time in you're paying attention to stuff learning and experiencing the game um i feel as though this game is simple in terms of how you approach it but not necessarily pulling off a clear that's an obviously another story because every run is going to be its own unique experience with uh things that can trip you up and whatnot. Um, I'm not sure where I was going with this, but... Oh yeah, the, the Twitter post. So the first four stages are relatively, like, tame. I think that's how I worded it. And then out of nowhere, once we hit stage five, you'll see a perfect example when you just watch the game or if you know the game already. Like, out of nowhere, stage five is just the most insane thing over the top action like the pressure is just so intense nothing lets up the whole time and it is just wild and it is just incredible and because of how good stage five is that was a huge part of what just really had me clicking with this game and just loving every moment so what i've seen some people do is they will just be at the top of the screen for these blue bursts and it'll just go from side to side completely avoiding it i didn't want to do it that way and that's why you'll see me doing it this way uh, because i want to continue damaging uh the lower parts of the the boss and then that section that whole section i just did here um that took some figuring out but when i finally put that me method together that was super consistent and that just really helped me start getting through this fight way more uh, consistently because it, it was kind of like 50 50 sometimes but once i finally put that together after loads of exploration in this fight i oh that made a huge huge difference so yeah there's stage two so <clears throat> there are pretty much only a few sections where even if you are very experienced with what to do and all that there's still a high risk of fumbling and this is one of those sections for me anyway um i've gotten way way better i really like doing it this way i've experimented with doing the other side first but i just found i was more comfortable taking out uh, this side but it's easy uh, for the most part, I can consistently get through the first four stages without bombing or taking any hits. But uh, if I'm not mistaken, I did just use a bomb like 10 seconds ago or something. I wasn't really paying attention. I'm more or less just chatting away here. But um, yeah, you just got to be at the ready because sometimes you can just get caught off guard with these trains. And it's better to use a bomb than lose a life and all the bombs with it. <clears throat> and I really like the way they they uh, pace the bombs. You get one in each level. So as long as you haven't bombed, um, you, by the time you are in stage five, you can collect your seventh bomb. And I've done that a, a number of times, um, like fairly consistently, to be honest. Uh, but you've got to be really playing really, really smart, and you just got to not mess anything up. But sometimes you're still going to have runs where you do just take silly hits to things you've practiced and you know really well uh, because that's just the nature of things here. <clears throat> but in terms of learning the game, like this is a, such a fun game to figure out. And there's a lot you got to 
pay attention to. Sometimes you'll you'll take hits and you have no idea what hit you. And then when you go back, you realize, oh, okay, it was like the guy is firing the blue shots. And because you're so fixated on everything else happening, like the red bullets or whatever, um, that you don't necessarily recognize the other threats that are flying across the screen. <clears throat> But for the most part, the the bosses are really simple. As long as you know what to do, like you can consistently go through the fights without any sort of threat, without issue. Um, it's just a like I said, you got to put the time in, and that's all there really is to it. <laughs> I cannot get over how massive that beam is. I love it. This game is so good. Boom. Excuse me. Stage clear. And stage four. This is one that gave me some issues when I first started uh, reaching it consistently. And I think it was mainly because this is one stage where there, it feels like there's a lot of just stray shots crisscrossing all over the place. So in that sense, it's not like you're dealing with crazy patterns per se, but there's just a lot you need to pay attention to. And like I said earlier, just learn the learn the flow of the stage, learn the game. And then when you have that awareness, you just kind of naturally know what to do when and what to prioritize keeping an eye open for over other things that are a little more obvious. But, oh, I absolutely love the, this reflect, reflective shield mechanic, or whatever they call it. it. Oh, man. I'm not sure the precise timing. It's like maybe every four or five seconds you can use it again. And I just love the fact that you can't, like, you can never think of it as like, oh, great, I can just spam it every, every second I want. You really got to learn the timing and the when to prioritize using it, when to intentionally not use it, but save it for a specific boss attack you know is coming or that is tricky to deal with for you. Oh man, look at the size of those things. Those are so wicked and I love how you can blast that open and it's just gushing gold. Even though, like, here's the thing, I'm not playing for score at all in this game, um, but I still enjoy going for medals because sometimes just seeing huge heaps of gold, like, you just, you want to be lapping it up. Oh, so good. This boss can be tricky if you're not prepared, but it's... Really simple stuff. One of the easiest ones, I would say, to be honest. Because even like in yeah, even the stage one boss, you're doing more moving around, dodging stuff. Whereas this, it's just super, super simple. You're pretty much staying in the middle the whole time and just learning when to use your shield. And for the most part, you can just be right up against the guy for the whole time. And boom, he's done already. So yeah, that's the thing, like, this game, if you're jumping into it for the first time, it will absolutely feel rough, um, but you'll just naturally get better and better at it, and it's just so much fun, I cannot stress that enough. So here we are, stage five. This level took quite a bit of experimenting, or experimentation, to come up with a, a route I was satisfied with which I'll get into when I do my guide video uh, explaining all that stuff. But um, it's such a fun level. I oh, It's just over-the-top fun. Like, that's, all, that's the only way I can really word it. Like, just the fine balance between when to use your, 
your shield, when to bomb. But for the most part, you're just you're dodging and getting used to everything. Oh my god. Just oh, like just watching this is just in oh my god I, I cannot get enough of this game. And the enemy variety we've got all sorts of really really cool ships, and tanks and things that just do, wild, attacks that just don't let up like they just keep firing, and you just got to deal with them. And just the amount they unload on you in these stages. Like, there's just so much going on here. Man, oh man. I just love those huge enemies that do the... Yeah, those guys right there that just do the... The fanning out blue ones and then the stream of red bullets. Just crazy stuff. But this game is incredibly satisfying. Uh, satisfying. It's incredibly satisfying. Because, oh man, just the combination of enemies they throw at you simultaneously. You gotta just be dealing with all that kind of stuff. I think what, yeah, one of the runs I had yesterday, this is a very, very easy halfway boss. Um, I had seven bombs all my lives yesterday, and I took a silly hit to that guy. That, that we just destroyed. But uh, even runs like that are great because you, you just know you're getting so close to clearing the game with oodles of resources for the end of the game. Like, it's... Oh, man. It's a great gauge. I didn't want to take a chance with anything there, so I just bombed because we got a lot of these guys and I, was, I felt like I was going to take a hit. But I really didn't want to use another bomb if I didn't need to. There was one uh, run a number of days ago where th this uh, last section where these little guys fly in, I forgot that they showed up, so I stopped to turn and talk to my daughter about something, and then I heard my, my ship <laughs> blow up, and that's when I remembered that there's still a wave of dudes that comes at the very end. So that run obviously didn't go <laughs> anywhere. So this this boss can be pretty wild to get used to at first. And it is certainly a dangerous boss, but uh, like everything else, once you kind of have a, a rough idea of how to time things and where what side of the screen to be on, you can pretty much clean up without issue and without needing to bomb. Unless you're really in a pinch where you've miscalculated something and you don't want to take a chance, then by all means, because at this point, if you have plenty of bombs and lives left because you've just played the rest of the run well then you can afford to use a bomb and just not take any silly chances on stuff because you want to be a hero this uh, this attack he's doing right now sometimes messes me up so I, I just bombed again just to play it safe but uh, when I do the guide I have all the, the stuff recorded already for it it's for the most part, it's a, a no bomb, no miss guide um, video. The only time I start using bombs, I think, is the very final boss and the TLB. Um, there are sections, like I do know how to do it without, but just in terms of streamlining the process, like I just figured, yeah, okay, I'll just show how to go about it if you want a bit of an easier time just bombing through some of the crazy patterns that uh, they unleash upon you. Plus, it's way less risky anyway, because even though I've practiced no bomb, uh, no missing, the final and TLB, uh, it's still way, way too easy to just get clipped here and there. And then boom, there go like seven bombs or whatever. But yeah, just crazy stuff. I just love the size of this ship. Man, 
of just look at those huge golden flames just man pillars of flames just being launched out of those guns holy smokes just crazy stuff i love how over the top this game is i wasn't even expecting to get into this game i think part of what i think i mentioned oh yeah there i did not want to risk that so i just bombed i think part of it was yeah i mentioned in my follow-up video that i did uh like a, i'm not sure a couple weeks ago or whenever it was uh, I just I wasn't feeling any shmup really. I there was nothing that was really interesting me, and then when I booted this up to see uh, to jump into it for the first time in ages, uh, I was just blown away by how good the game was. Yeah, I wasn't risking that either. <clears throat> so there's a part coming up where I always want at least one bomb. And so now that I'm down to one bomb, I was thinking to myself, oh, okay, I've really got to play well so that I have a bomb to actually use for that part. I'll point it out when we get there. It's not yet. For the most part, this is simple stuff. You, you just got to... So at the tail end of this attack, I use my... Uh, it's coming up in like two seconds. Uh, I use my barrier, and I normally never use it there. I just had my timing off. Because ideally, I use the barrier right here. And uh, that plus what the boss is uh, dishing out is enough to just go to the next thing. So that left me in a situation where I had bombed instead because my thing wasn't ready. And then I had to do this part without my shield barrier uh, right ready for when it starts or whatever. And then bombing. So I'm out of bombs. Somehow I make it through this which is usually I just I take a hit I just fumble stuff there so I was blown away that even though I had messed up the timing and the order in which I do things I still somehow made it through dodging more of that guy's last attack than, than I normally even need to deal with since the bomb cancels out most of it and then this this can be a pretty wild pattern to deal with because sometimes yeah you'll just get clipped by a fast one that's moving but for the most part if you've made it to this part you're you're pretty much good it looks like a lot of stuff but everything's moving super slow it's it's not actually that crazy you just gotta make sure you don't use your your thing too soon because you want to be able to deal with those tiny red and blue darts that we saw just moments ago and there's the final boss now on to the true last boss. So here's something interesting. I wasn't sure while I was playing this if the TLB is triggered strictly from just not using a continue or if there was something else where when you see the red and black ship in the stages before, you have to like always make sure you kill him in time or something like that. Um, but as far as I have researched, it's just... You just need to not use a continue, and you'll be able to get to them. So, yeah, that kind of clears that up, if I'm not uh, mistaken, if I have my info correct and all that. But it's a pretty intense fight. You really got to put a little time into just learning. There were even a, a few sections where I could have taken hits, but holy smokes, I'm so thankful I didn't. There's a really nasty, nasty attack coming up soon. Normally I have him done this so that I get a bullet cancel, but I, I hadn't damaged him enough, so it was delayed. But somehow I still made it through that. And then here's the attack. This is just a nasty attack. If you have bombs, use use one or two just to get through this whole thing. Alternating with your, your shield burst, of course. Because it's... Oh, such a nasty attack. I, I, I want to learn how to do it without bombs and whatnot, but I just haven't uh, put the time into that yet. And if you got bombs, just use them. There's no, there's no sense in taking risks when you're this close. That is actually one of the biggest things I noticed about um, not clearing the game. It was always a matter of just 
not prioritizing bomb use in stage five and onward. Anyway, <clears throat> that is the run. Oh, so yeah, we can uh, just watch this for a minute or two. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all I want to say. I, I've had a blast. I don't recall when I started this. I don't think it was quite two weeks ago, but it's been such an awesome time. Uh, easily one of my favorite shmups. This this game is just so good, and I just have such a wicked time with it. It's totally my kind of pressure uh, and intensity. There's just something about it that just really speaks to me, and I just feel so electrified when playing it. Even even when taking a hit, like a silly fumble in stage one or two, like you're still going to get a bomb every single stage after that, so there's just huge potential for just seeing where things go instead of just restarting, and uh, oh, I just love it. So anyway, I'll let you guys watch the rest of this uh, on your own. Let me know what you think in the comments, and um, yeah, when I'm done the, the guide video, I will put that out for everybody. So yeah, anyway, have a stellar day. Thank you so much for being here, and we will see you next time.